Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Trip's House of Onward Delights, where you can watch the top tier teams duke it out for their spot in the finals tonight. We're going to have Animal House versus Kai. Uh, rank number four. Let's actually look at the worldwide standings because that's what's more important at this point. Rank number... Turn off my notifications because that's annoying. Rank number eight versus rank number 12. Neither of these teams in the top seven and able to skip that Challenger Cup. However, if Animal House wins, they could potentially go up. Uh, it would have to be a very big win as number seven Vikings is 20 points ahead of them in MMR. And Kai, down at 12, 1250 MMR, uh, looks like a four-way tie for, or five-way tie for 9 through 12, 8 through 12. Math is hard. We, you know, I, you guys know that I know that math doesn't work, uh, so we're not going to get into that. But this is the last week of regular season, and these teams are fighting for a chance to skip the Challenger Cup because the Challenger Cup is chaos, and it's great. You should definitely tune in for it. Let's get over the bands and map choices for Animal House. We have a ban of Kai's top pick, which is Suburbia. And on the Kai side, they are banning USS Quest. Both close range maps out. That leaves one close range map i cannot remember the current map pool let me take a look at the list that leaves cargo as the only small map in the rotation which we will probably see tonight as well as bazaar subway Downfall, Quarantine, and Snow Peak. All very well balanced maps, and both of these teams are good at all of them. Um, I don't think they really have a weakness. And the first map is going to be the Animal House Choice of Subway, which is the most played map this season. It's a great map, uh, and I'm glad that more teams have been picking into it. It has all kinds of options, and it just plays really well. You can be aggressive, you can play slow, you can flank, you can rush five way five men through one angle. There's all kinds of ways to play this objective or this map, and I think it's a great one. Now let's take a look at these two teams really quick to see have they duked it out before? This season, I believe they have. They've played once this season and it went the way of Kai 12 to 3. So, a devastating win going to Kai. Let's look at the maps that were played there with Shipyard 4 to 1, Quarantine Day 4 to 2, and Suburbia 4 to 0. Animal House definitely getting. Put down in that one, but that was also back in June. There's been a lot of time and a lot of play between then and now, and maybe Animal House has got their stride back, and they are ready to take on Kai once again. They are higher ranked than Kai currently, so apparently they have been doing well this season. Take a look at their subway stats. They are 8 for 15 in subway wins, so not their greatest map, right around 50%. And for Kai, the same, 8 for 15. Uh, this is a tie stat on this map choice, so we'll see what happens when these two teams duke it out. Uh, let's see, we do have all five on both teams. So let's go over the rosters for today. On the Animal House side, we have Green Theft Auto, Nolamite, Silent Knight, Wicked Hex, and F. Lipinski. A classic Animal House lineup. And on the Kai side, we've got Bass Slapper, 
Dyslexic, Dazzler, Etch, Phonic, and Robbie. And we're kicking it off right now in round one on map number one. And it's going to be the Chinatown objective. Let's see what the offense decides to do. I need a magazine from somebody. A little bit of utility swap here. Giving Animal House the superior firepower. Spreading out those rounds. Lipinski and Green Theft Auto are going to take the overpass. Let's follow along with them. The turnstiles, maybe even left. pushed up further. Audible calls made while attacking, calling out sides. And the slowdown commences. Here we go. Let's go fly over to. Let's see, that is uh, Robbie. Robbie going to be in Sex Shop Alley dealing with the south stairs. Flashes himself. A little early. Maybe a timed flash there. Gonna give Wicked Hex some information. Let's kick on those lasers so you can see what's going on. Wicked's gonna peek the corner. Not gonna see anybody. They are setting up a very good offense here. Nobody pushing the north, though, which leaves one defender out of position and just sitting there. That would be Bass in the north all by himself doing nothing. Etch does pick up Silent Knight coming out of the downstairs uh, stairs, the the tunnel stairs. Nolamite, however, gets Robbie as he peeks the corner, covering the backside of Wicked. That does clear out Sex Shop Alley. They do have to push through Etch, though. Etch still in a position to defend that, that very forward flanky, not flanky, but very forward defender there goes down, but it's worth it. They get a one-for-one -one trade. Now Green and Wicked and... Lipinski all coming out of the overpass at the same spot. Let's see if they can handle Phonic. Wicked's telling him to stop, hold. Hand signals don't give away your position. But Dyslexic does get green from the corner. Not really sure how that happened. And now there's more Animal House laser here. With Nolamite watching the corner. Wicked throws a nade. Smoke out on the corner. Going to land in the air. Not going to fall down, which means it won't blind enough of what he was hoping it would. Wicked now has to deal with Phonic in the corner. They do see the C4. Potentially disabled, but a frag goes, or a flash goes out. Hey, there might be a C4 on top of that fucking roof right there. That is right. There is a C4 there. More smoke coming down. Another flash comes out from Dyslexic. Bass still over there in the north holding nothing all by him his lonesome. Wicked now rotating Etch. Gonna be pushing up. Etch giving away his position. The C4 does get blown. Not gonna catch anybody. Lots of utility being thrown up and down this hallway here, but nobody actually getting anything. Lots of smoke wasting away while they set up this offense. The timing just not great. Phonic does start shooting, giving away his position on the right side. Lipinski's starting to search the bodies. But Phonic and Dazzler in a great position here to defend on both sides of this, making it hard. But Wicked gets the long angle. Now Etch is going to go over there and charge him. Etch does take him down. And Etch is down, but not out. Could get res. Bass now rotating back to the objective. Phonic rotating onto the objective as well. Dyslexic having gone down. Well, a nice nade over top. Right onto the objective. Off the backboard. Nolamite tosses one into the objective as well. A flash that might have got Bass. It definitely did get Bass. He goes down. Now it's all up to Phonic. What I thought was a defensive win now turns into an offensive win as Lipinski gets the final kill. Phonic goes down. Animal House take the first point, which was not how I expected that round to go. Animal House never giving up on that round. Let's get the votes going.
and we don't normally see it, but Animal House really opted to push all four through the overpass alley. Not something you normally see. There was a rotation at the end, and it definitely paid off as uh, I think it was Wicked managed to get Dyslexic on objective, picking him up in that long angle here. Getting him on the corner there on the far end. And Etch not able to get the kill first. The trade did come out. However, that was Etch's side to guard. And that pick paid off heavily on the Animal House side. Now we're hopping into round number two. On map number one. Strap in. It's going to be a long one. Let's follow along on the Kai side now, spawning on the south side. Right. Oh, I'm missing one. Oh, they're both there. Across Looks right. like spawning on the south side, different from Animal House. That means they have the advantage, and they're going to push up the stairs. Are they going to be met with resistance on the corner? Here it comes. Green Theft comes around, firing. Doesn't hit. Silent comes around the other corner. Trades with Etch. Now Green needs to peek it again, but he's not going to... Yeah, thank you. The res does come out. Four on four. And Green has actually backed off of that corner, giving Kai a lot of defensive... Uh, a lot of angles to clear. An unknown defender position. They're going to have to clear that corner. They're going to have to clear overpass. They're going to have to clear where Lipinski is. They're going to have to make sure that there's no one here. And I don't think I saw a C4 go out. Because he was on a mad dash for the corner. But I'm sure there's a C4 somewhere. Phonic coming up the overpass slowly. Let's go set some cameras over on objective. It looks like Animal House opting to hold very tight on objective. With Lipinski being the only one off objective. Silent was also off objective and went down. Bass, Ra Bass and Robbie coming down Sex Shop Alley. Friendly flash. A lot of utility coming out here from the Animal House team, just trying to keep them from pushing aggressively. You know, throw a flash every so often, potentially you could catch somebody, but they're not acting off of those flashes. They're not pushing those flashes. They're just throwing them and waiting just to slow the enemy down, which does burn through a lot of utility, especially when you're not actively hitting anyone with it. Kai opting to set up on two angles. Looks like they're going to be coming from the overpass and sex shop alley. Nobody coming from north stairs on either of these pushes, which really surprises me as that's really what I feel is one of the better approaches. Lipinski's giving call outs and he goes down to Phonic. Animal House keeping a tally. And just keeping that pre-fire down. The call-out's incorrect on the Kai side. They are calling out Lipinski's dead position, but it's actually wicked on the opposite side of the wall. Octobus dead. He's dead. Green here now watching the corner. Robbie trading with Nolamite on the far side. Robbie is just down. And he goes down. Now Bass pushes the corner. Green Theft gets him. One more dead. One more dead. Cleaning up. Now it's a two on two. Green rotating positions. Now that his position has been given away, he takes a shot and moves. 
the smart play here as Phonic's going to have to come around this corner and is looking for that spot. That flash might have been high. It was. Green Theft gets Phonic. And now the final shots come from Etch. The callouts come out, and they know not to peek this corner. They should have an accurate kill count. And Etch has a call order ahead of him, but Wicked crosses his line of fire and gets taken down. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Green versus Etch. Green not aware of where this last player is, apparently. Etch checks his watch, checks his time. He knows he's got a minute 30 left on the clock. Plenty of time to work with, and he's this close to objective. Green is protected from that side, but he needs to keep watching it. Green is very mobile. Green double taps a body. Etch slow peeking the corner. Green is getting nervous. A minute seven left. Green takes up a new position. Keeps swinging. Gets flashed, I think. Etch comes around the corner firing. A beautiful play there. And Kai take their first point. Let's watch that one again. I think he was flashed. I'm not 100% sure here. Kai tying it up one to one and like I said this is going to be a banger of a game I expect a one for one trade pretty much the entire time until somebody anybody decides that they want to go for a cap but skill wise shoot wise I think this is going to be a one for one trading rounds um, we'll definitely hope to see a cap at some point maybe even on this next objective as we do move to the north stairs set up some cameras here as we know action will happen up here whether they want it to or not go we've got the cameras ready and actually we're gonna give the gameplay a little bit of a boost here because it is a dark map and we're gonna hop into round number three and let's turn up the gamma a bit you a little bit better view of what's happening here and let's follow along to the left. on the defense this time <laughs> robbie goes down to a grenade as he was pre-firing the corner, Silent gets the double tap, cleans that up. The smoke not in the right position. A grenade coming up. Catches two. A nice throw from Dyslexic there. A flash also catching Wicked. Nolamite, however, going to get the res. But they are all blind. A nice nade there to protect the backside. Let's watch that grenade again. Now all four members pushing up. Dyslexic takes down Silent as he was already hurt. More nades rolling in. Flash is going out. Neither one of those good. Wicked goes down as well to Dyslexic as he comes up the stairs. Now Green goes for it. Green goes down as well. Nolamite finally getting the kill. And it's down to a two on three. One man taking the North Stairs is a very difficult way to go. I would opt to rotate at this point. Nolamite going to scavenge the bodies. Some gunfire from Bass here. 
laid over sideways, shooting up the stairs, just trying to make sure no one comes down those stairs. Letting him know that he's still there. He's he's watching that. Now, we do have Lipinski, however. Maybe he can thread the needle. If Phonic's not looking, Lipinski's got a good approach here onto the objective. Depends on how much noise he makes and whether he can spot out Phonic. If he can get Phonic, he, cl he cleans up the platform and turns it into a 2v2. And he does see Phonic. A nice little peek there. More shots from Bass, and he gets Nolamite in the smoke. I don't know if you saw him or not. But he goes down edge, hiding behind the newspaper stand here. Lipinski on the platform. Gunshots ringing out behind him. Is that going to distract him? Etch knows that he doesn't have to watch his backside until those gunshots stop. Lipinski is scanning, but and he sees him. Etch goes down. A nice, quick snap there from Lipinski. Oh, Bass going to have to rotate, and Lipinski knows it, and he takes him down. And Animal House take their second point. Solid attack there from Lipinski with the clutch. Knowing that that defender was behind objective, he's back in the corner going to force him to rotate because he he got the kill from the platform which means that he is coming from the platform that defender cannot see the objective corner that can be capped on has to rotate and Lipinski can just wait for that a forced rotation is what we call that and it was an excellent play even though Animal House did the lemming approach and got mowed down on the north alley they still managed the claw back that's the second time both of these points, I have thought, were going to go to Kai and Animal House clawing their way back and taking both of their points. And it looks like chat is 57% to Kai. And we'll see how that plays out. Only six people voted. But a lot of points up with rushers there, putting 15k on to Kai. I'm just, I, I want to know what map two and three are going to be. I feel like we're going to see some bizarre. Hmm. I wonder what Kai's pick is going to be. I feel like we're going to see the USS, or not USS Quest. I feel like we're going to see cargo. But we're still on map number one. If you're just joining us, you haven't missed much. Just three rounds of awesome action. And we're hopping into round number four. We're just going to leave the camera here as the offense and the defense normally meet in this little corner of Subway. There we go. You see him on the right side there. Kai pushing up, going to take three, two down the north alley, one down the towards the overpass. Flash is coming out. Flash is going a little far there. Everyone.